Hey guys, it's me again here, Reem. In this video, I like to talk about a topic uh, dealing with flakes. So, the scope is you've set up a date, something. She, uh, she simply doesn't show up, or she cancels last minute, something. And right after that moment, what are you gonna do? That's the scope for this video: dealing with a flake. So there are some things. One thing I've already uh, expanded on another video is a very exciting plan B, which is completely within your control. So what do I mean by that? Of course you can plan a double date and at the same time, and if someone flakes, you have another girl, uh, you have a chance with another girl. This is already something, but still it might lead to something that where you end up alone and don't know what to do. So here is still the dependency of that other girl. What you can do, however, and it shouldn't be that obvious, is to have something to do uh, as a backup plan, something that you're really looking forward to. Uh, and I would call it, it's a date with yourself, which for example means that you read a book that you find really interesting and didn't have much time to read during the daytimes or whatever when. Or for example, watch a movie that you, that's a bit, for example, a longer one or someone that you that got recommended and you didn't really have the time for. Instead of snacking and consuming all these recommendations as fast as you can and spend three, four hours on YouTube before you know it, just save this stuff and plan it as a backup date with yourself. So that way you have maybe one or two weeks you don't see such a great movie that you're looking forward to. But if you get on an evening a date and you end up in that sense alone, you still have a very exciting thing to do. What this does is that it doesn't leave you needy and clinging for the date and feeling very disappointed. If you have something that you honestly feel like doing, you have a great backup plan. And that shows, that merges in your entire communication with a girl for setting up the date, the few moments before the date, and even if she flakes. So that's something very important, guys. I have a few other things. Let me have a look at a, a quick look at my notes. Yeah. Second is, is also expect the possibility. So don't... Uh, automatically expect that she always will show up and that kind of things. I'm, I'm talking about this topic because right now I'm in Medellin, in Colombia, where it's quite common where women simply don't show up or cancel last minute on date. So that's why I have this video for you guys. Simply don't assume it. Assume that she can uh, cancel last minute or something. Let's see. Um, another thing you can do uh, to avoid ending up in a place where you're there having ordered your drink it's 8 o'clock, 8.10, 8.15, 8.20 and no response you buy another drink waiting to avoid that simply let her show up first at the place and let her send you the message hey I'm here where are you that way you can spend your time close to that bar or uh, if it's walking distance or a quick taxi ride or something you can send her like hey I'm a little late and you can spend the time usefully for yourself so that's another way to really prevent that you're in that sense wasting your time and are in a situation where you don't like to be in so to make the best out of it another thing um, what I do after a flake, it's also important. So not right in the moment when she flakes, what do I do? But also after, how do I deal with someone who flakes on me? What I personally do in most cases is I see a flake, if it's a, if it's a rude one, and I, I think it feels a bit, I trust my intuition here guys, if it feels like, a, like an excuse like something she could easily has prevented, um, something like that, it, it doesn't feel fully honest or real, I 
punish her a little bit for that. I'm not this guy that is like, like nothing happens, I'll see you again another day and I'll propose a new... No, she has to put a little bit of extra work and investment to, to make me see me again. That's something naturally common. This is not an act of game or something really there. And um, it, it shows in the next messages. She can come up with, with an excuse here saying like, oh, I'm really sorry. Uh, sorry to have let you waiting. Uh, do you have time this week for a new plan? I'd like to see you. Something like that is already a, a good start. And yeah, that, that's something not everyone will do. Some they simply expect me to reach out. Well, that's something I don't do. So also have clear how you deal with that afterwards. Um, I also have situations where mm, I might even end up um, inviting the girl home only. If this, for example, happens if she flakes twice, which rarely happens, but if it happens, I will not spend any thought of um, having a night with her and maybe sharing drinks or paying drinks where, where she consumes that much of time with even a chance to end up at my place. That's a situation I will for sure not go into with someone who has already flaked twice. So that's a clear situation where I only invite her to my place. It's the only way. We can have drinks here, we can play the guitar, we can watch a movie, I don't know what, but at my place. If she's not willing to make that move after two flakes, I also automatically assume that whenever we have the date, she will also be quite resistant on ending up home. So in that sense, I'm even quite happy that we didn't have this date together where that doesn't lead to anything. Um, let me have a look at my notes again. I think I'm mostly finished. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, what's important with this is that you that you approach this from a certain calmness and not from a anger rich kind of state like ah oh, she flaked and that you're reactive and you're responding something that you might regret later on or that you have no backup plan and you're lost in the middle of something don't know what to do with your evening you send a message like okay yeah thanks I have uh, if I knew this earlier I would have made other plans something like that don't send her this kind of stuff guys it's true it's up to her for creating the situation and it may be rude however you have a great chance to show your true character on how you respond to that so she has an action and instead of reacting you can choose to respond so there's a difference between a reaction and a response be sure that you're always in the box of a response instead of as an automatic emotional reaction in the moments of reaction you might regret those later on you might say things you don't really mean you might throw in your own windows you might ruin future chances maybe and i try to not be with women like this that artificially test you to see how you respond to flakes and it's even as a complete test that you fail I try to be as real and authentic as possible. However, not everyone is able to walk that path as soon as I like it to be. Some women need more time with that. But in general, respond guys, don't react. These are my uh, tips for the dealing with a flake. Um, of course, the scope is only if a flake happens. I'm convinced you can do a lot to prevent it. Um, also, a simple thing is not even care about it, that you already have naturally other plans to, uh, yeah, to replace this, this date. So that should be, after time, come as a natural um, reality um, in which you don't even have headspace to, to think about this. Um, these are my tips for now. Take from it what you need right now, what you can implement. And um, yeah, make sure that you gradually or maybe even instantly shift to this responding state instead of a reactive state.
that's what I think is what, what most guys uh, display after a flake is that they show way too much reactiveness. Either if it's towards the girl directly, so she can perceive it in a text, or you drag it along the rest of your evening or even the next day or longer, like, oh, this girl is flaking, blah, blah, blah. You have conversations about it. You, you might project it on a new date in, in some way. Guys, this is something for you to work with. And see it like that. You are not in control of her action, but you are in control in your re response or reaction that's a part up to you and i want you to focus on that part all right guys see you on the next one